Hey, welcome back. So tonight I'm about to get in the shower. Um, but I want to show you guys how I get out of my stuff and I'll, I'll kind of like explain what goes in. I'll take a shower, come back, I'll show you how to like, I uh, oil my body down and massage myself a little bit and then get right back in it and load it back up. How wide I look. <laughs> um, yeah, but you'll get to see my results. I'm two weeks post off, uh, so you'll see my results once I come out of the shower. So, okay, I'll be back. so this is what I look like out of the clothes. I wear this pretty much 24-7 except for when I'm showering. So I, this is just a Chuck's pad, like a dog pee pad. I put that because there's a gap, you can kind of see. But um, it's gonna take me a second to unhook this, so I'll be right back with that. Okay, so whew, once I unhook the, the ad board, I also have phones going across this way. I have four in, and then the triangle too, it goes like this underneath to compress the under part of my boot. I also have a fupa compression, and this is also a chest pad. I did everything chest pad. I have one in the back too. Take the little straps. Now this is the Faja that I woke up in. It's a 3XL. But I got a tailor and now it fits like a, a size extra large. Um, this is a piece of foam. These were together, I just cut them in half. And that I put there on the inside here. Some people use maxi pads, but I didn't really get any of those. And then for the ones in the back, uh, I taped them together, three of them, because they're so much easier. They fit inside the Faja better. They're just easier. So that's three. And then I put another one on top of these that I have, the triangles. Like I'll put them on top for more compression. Because that is going to help me with the arch in my back. I think there's more, yeah. So there's more. So these two are on top of each other. This high look. Oh, I also put an earplug in to keep the shape of my belly button so it doesn't start getting squished in, I like this. I'm gonna put some underwear on and I'll be right back. Okay, so before I hop in the shower, I'll show you guys how I look. I'm two weeks post up. Thought that they drew on the wall. He really gave me hips, I like that. I just love it, I love that my back fat is gone. I love it. Okay, so I just took a shower. Um, oh, let me get started. I was putting it on first, but I forget. I always forget, okay. I got the thermoplast because somebody, I saw not order. I like the idea that it sprays so that it's like not, you don't have to like touch your skin so much to do it. I thought that would help me my first week because I know my skin was gonna be sensitive, but I thought it was gonna be more like a like a bottle of nail sporin kind of, but it's, it's just like it's all over the place. It's, it's not even that like liquidy, like how I need like oil. So I sprayed that first, and then I have a bottle of A and B ointment. That was big. I did just have dinner and yeah, dessert. <laughs> right now, my skin is. I don't know, it feels like lumpy, it's kind of tough. Not tough, not my skin, but it doesn't hurt as much, I should say. The first week it hurts so bad, but now I can rub it and start massaging myself. That's what I do. I feel for any little lumps and bumps. I try to work on those. Now I do this first, and then I want a dry brush. And I do this first with my massage therapist, and I should have a barrier between my skin before the bristles. I get the bristles, and I do it everywhere. I don't usually wear underwear and do this. I'm gonna start doing all this, massaging it, moving it like how they do in the massages that you do professionally. They're moving the fluid down here so you can pee it out later. I need to lose some weight too. I feel like. <laughs> um, and this is the dry brush. I got this at Ross for two dollars, three dollars. And I generally do certain motions, but I started itching at week two. It is really quick, so it helps the itch, the itching. But it also helps us to get a blood flow, which is what we want. And I do it all around. All back here. 
it's on down. It's on down. I don't have TV back here. I also do have a booty. So I'm like six month post out and all of this is like in right here. I'm gonna be just waiting for all of these snatched. I need to go on a diet too. Okay. And I still have plenty of product on me. So that's good. In the shower, I use these pads, these uh, exfoliating gloves. And I still use that dial antibacterial soap that they recommend you get. I love it. I gotta work on this. That's why I say I gotta go on a diet. I need to compress. It wasn't looking like this before. But my booty is still firm. Okay, what else do I do? <laughs> I got it taken in since then. The fupa area, the lowest I do it on the tightest one because I want the like, compression there. So I can swing down my fupa. And then I put an earplug. Now, I do this. I put it in my belly button. Just pop it in there. I squish it first so it goes in easy. And then in a second, that'll expand and like fill up the rest of the belly button. I do that so that belly button doesn't start, I said it earlier, but it doesn't start going down like this. And then later on, right before I close this up, I'm going to lift my skin, which burns right here, doing that. But I'm going to lift it so I don't have like that saggy skin here in my fall. I'm gonna just, so the first thing, well, the second thing, I guess, is this is a Chuck's pad. I'm going to put that on, then down here for compression. That'd be super, and yeah, you don't need it too low down. I was gonna hit you. If you guys aren't gonna, um, if you're like shopping for all of your supplies, I highly recommend you get a female urinal because they are the bomb.com. I don't know how people do it without it. I really don't have. And I have two more. These are gonna go in my lower back. I'm gonna put them right above here so it can really compress my back, my lower back, and then like give me that nice slope eventually. See, right now I was like, I, oh, my skin right here hurts. So I can compress them clear right here. Um, I never ordered the backboard. Like that, if you see my other one and stuff, because I don't think it is. Oh, because I hear it like slides up so much. I hear it slides up so much that like it's not worth it. So what I was going to do last night that I said I had an idea. So this piece is gonna go above that triangle right here, but I need to cut the corners off so that it fits better above my butt. You gotta customize these guys. If they don't work for you, make them work. Because you're about to be in this for how many months? Right, so now I won't go over my butt cheeks look for tonight. <laughs> that one's tough. Okay, next. I'm so happy I did this. You take them together, and they're easier to put on. Now, the back one's going to be tough, because I have a lot of stuff back there already. So I'm going to start from the side. And don't worry if these, like, fall apart. Okay. And I'm going to put them... My hip starts right here. So I'm going to put them right above my hip. See where the arch is? I'm going to put it right above there. Really tight. And then... Got that. Put it on my butt. Alright, so you're gonna look crazy for a minute, so get used to it. And I have it right above my hip, right before where it starts. The, crotch. the thing I like about the phone I woke up in is that the zipper goes all the way back so you can sit on the toilet backwards if you use that. Use that very easy. Then I got two pieces that I put. I'm gonna put them here. Right where my ribs are. We're trying to slim our results, we're trying to maximize our results here, so those go inside. And then, I put the straps on. Another good thing I like about this one is that it has adjustable straps, so if it's too tight, if it's too loose, adjust it. Okay. I told her I want it really tight, so I could be on the first hook for a minute. And that's what she did. I should cut the corner off this, because this one kind of slips down. And I said, adjust these how you need them to be. You're gonna be wearing this for a minute. I stopped um I stopped bleeding after was it four days, five days? I go up a little bit before I add the last foam. So the first couple that I did on the tightest one. Now I'm gonna start moving over to the second row. And then I'll put my last foam in. Now this is gonna go in between. Let me get you there. Now it's gonna go inside. The only reason I'm hesitating to go inside is because I don't want a gap in between these, because then my skin will have a crease. And it will hurt. 
I just really like my skin. I just really like the between this thing. Okay. Do you think we'll be able to do it? Wait and see. <laughs> okay, I'm trying to line up the phone down here with the fruit pad. And this goes in here. Um, I'm going to go up one more. I'll try to go up one more. Okay, now it'll tell you when it's like, I'm not ready to go to the second row. So, now I'm on the last hook. Don't kill yourself trying to get into shit. I mean, like, try your very best. Like, don't give up. Because you need this compression. But, like, take breaks if you have to. <laughs> okay. Here we go. See? So, I have that. And now I'm going to fix this crease right here. So, you just pull it over. And then this is the part where I'm going to... Ooh! Sheesh. Where I'm going to lift my skin. Oh, Ooh, that hurts. And I'm going to take a burning sensation in my skin. Okay. I highly recommend doing some arm workouts before surgery. Oh, baby. Okay. And walk and stuff. I was walking on day two. My mom would walk around the block on day two. Oh, it was terrible. Ooh, okay. Right then. And I like how the phones are coming out because at night, this, on this last one, can get very tight. So when I get closer, I'll show you that I put this in to pad underneath here, too. Okay, we got this. Guys, imagine going on the last row with all of this shit once my body just... Ooh, it looks so good. Okay. Can't wait to just be on vacation with my boo. Somewhere on the beach. My cute ass bikini. My hair down. Oh, so cute. Almost done. <laughs> Ripping and curling. Okay. We did it. Now this is extra protection. I'm going to put it inside right above that black one. Outside of the foam. So the foam's first. And then, because I like the extra tightness at night, because I, you know, you're sleeping on your stomach, I like to add this too for face the compression. Uh, you're sleeping on your stomach, so it's good for your back support, I think. So I really try to make this as tight as possible, but I don't go past the foams. Like my foam drop a little higher, so I bring this up a little higher. Or else you'll have like indents in your hips, and it also just hurts. Any tightness just hurts. Not this one, tightness. <sighs> Tell me, you gotta do more workouts before. Okay. I'm ready to go to war. <laughs> so I sit like this. And I get this body pillow. This is the best thing I could have got. And I just sleep like this. Watch tomorrow. Start my massage. Come home. Shower and then do this all over again. I always moisturize my skin. I've also still been taking my vitamins. I take, I still take my iron, folic acid, uh, biotin, collagen, beetroot, chlorophyll, B12, my D3, hyaluronic acid. And I think that's it. Yeah, I mean, why not, not take them? I have them. Good morning. I just took all the padding out so I could massage myself um, just a little bit more. Now I do, I do have a roller. I do want to order one that has like more of spikes on it so you can get in there more. But I do it with the Faha on to protect my skin because it's still pretty sensitive. But once I come back, I'm gonna pack all my foams, all my, my bullets and the pads in and uh, make it back to the first hook. I'll see you guys next time. Let me know if you have any questions. I'll see you in the comments. Peace out. Have a good day.